Hello friends, welcome to this lecture of COA. In this lecture, I will talk about why do we make study of a COA and how we can make the study of COA easier. So, what is COA? COA stands for Computer Organization and Architecture. So, computer, when we say computer organization, it means Computer organization simply means how we can use computer and computer architecture implies how to build computer. So, in computer organization, we will focus on two of the subjects that is digital electronics and microprocessor. While in computer architecture, we will focus on all the basic components and their architecture. So let us begin uh, with the topic. Uh, let us begin the topic of uh, uh, from where we basically do start of the start the study of the computer organization and architecture. So before starting the computer organization architecture, we have to understand the basic idea of using the computer. Let us assume that this whole boundary covers computer and in computer we know there are three very important components. The first component is hard disk which is basically divided into certain partition the second component that we have in computer is main memory which we sometimes know, know by the name of RAM And the third component is CPU. So, the C <coughs> we basically, as a user, give instruction as an output to computer and this input is basically taken from some in standard input device and the standard input device that we make use of is keyboard and the request we are giving to the computer it basically becomes a file which is basically stored is C partition. So 
C partition is collection of executable files which are basically the request made by the user. So this file basically get loaded into main memory by operating system and it converts it into process. So main memory consists of lots of lots of process. And these processes take certain certain space in main memory and the basic unit of main memory is bit 8 bit make 1 byte 4 bit makes 1 nibble so the main memory has the task to do process scheduling that means inside the main memory each processes are basically ordered on the basis of their execution time and for that we apply certain process scheduling algorithms that we basically discuss under operating system subject so from this main memory once again operating system dispatcher basically dispatch dispatches process one at a time and submit it to CPU. The CPU basically accepts process one at a time and act over it by applying arithmetic and required logical operation under the control of control unit to give some meaningful output that is basically displayed either on monitor as standard device as standard output device or it can be on some physical output devices like printer etc so basically we consider the main monitor as a standard output device to have the output that is generated by CPU. So that is the basic idea. So we can say in a short that we take some input from computer, sorry, we take input from user through some standard device and the computer process that input under the control of some program. to give some output that is displayed on standard output device. So this program basically consists of data and instruction. So what is the idea of studying the computer organization architecture that we have to focus on this part on this part of the computer that is CPU. What would be the architecture inside the CPU and its component like ALU and CU? We will basically make the deep study over it in computer organization in, a, in computer organization and architecture. Thereafter, we discuss a uh, remove onto the main memory and uh, see how the main memory 
can basically be associated with CPU. So this is all about the computer organization and architecture. Now let us under let us discuss how we can make the study of computer organization and architecture easier. So it is very simple. You simply follow my lecture thoroughly and write down the main points that I basically uh, that that I basically discuss in my lecture. Do the consistent revision of it. Select a particular day and do the revision of all the things that I have discussed in this lecture. So I am going to start my uh, first lecture. I am going to uh, discuss about about the uh, microprocessor and how we. Uh, what are the basic components of the microprocessor in my next lecture?